What's going on, everybody? See here. Welcome back to some more New World. Now, this is gonna be kind of like a um, kind of like a first impressions kind of thing. It's not gonna be a review. It's not gonna be like a let's play. It's gonna be you know kind of like answering some questions. You know, giving my thoughts on the game on New World as a whole at this point as a beta. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have a good time. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. If you do, make sure you leave a like. If you do here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. And first thing I gotta say is the fact that you can run and dive on your belly and become a snake in the grass that's like the best thing ever snake in the grass you can't even see us anyways so let's go ahead and let's just talk about a few things a lot of questions that i get uh we did a stream of this we're gonna be streaming this uh quite often while the beta is running and then we're probably gonna actually be streaming it while we're uh once it comes full release as well which i believe is august 31st I'll have to uh, verify that, but uh, twitch.tv slash doing gaming. If you want to catch the live stream, actually make sure you head over there. We've been streaming uh, with Miss Z1, the official Miss Z1. Yes, that's right, the Miss Z1. Uh, and having a good time. So let's talk about a few things and a few things that I collected and took away from the game as, um, as, as a whole. So first thing, and the first thing that I kind of looked for was multiplayer. Because I actually had some keys for uh, some friends so oh my gosh this area went to a, this area went to the green team where that were oh this is not good this is not good at all uh so i had a couple of i have had a couple friends i had missy i had uh, a couple of my admins anyways two of us started over here in this area uh missy started over here in this area and then truck tech actually start over here in this area. Now for us to all get like synced up and doing the same quest, essentially what we had to do. Um, and I looked online, there was some information, but it was like some kind of incorrect information. Basically, wherever you're at, you're going to start off with having to do a, a mission right on this watchtower. You're going to start off on a beach. You're going to have to do missions on a watchtower. Knock those missions out first. Now, wherever you're at, you're going to hit a mission where it's going to tell you to go to your settlement. It's going to tell you to go to your hamlet of wherever you start. So if you're at First Light, you're going to go to First Light Hamlet. If you are over here at Windsward Watchtower, you're going to go to Windsward Hamlet. Now, once you do that and you take that mission, you accept it, you go all the way over here, you hit your settlement, you turn the quest in. Because if you have a quest... Um, actually, this is a great example. If you have a quest that has a green arrow like this, that is a quest ready to turn in, which means you've already accepted it. You just have to turn it in. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to turn in the quest for the settlement area, but you're not going to want to take the next quest. So that way, when you go, when you leave, it'll give you an option. It'll say leave or it'll say like, you know, take the quest or whatever, leave. And then when you do, you'll be able to select this quest from any of these settlements that, you know, you've been in or your friends have been in or whatever. So, like, I can take it from here, from here, from here, wherever. That is how you're going to get linked up. So, you are going to have to do the little quest in your area, wherever your friends are at. They're going to have to do their quest. But then you can pick which town you want to meet up and you're going to have to walk. It's a long walk and it is a thing. But that is the easiest way for us that we found. Now, we did try to bring somebody over here from uh, not accepting a quest over here at all just bringing them straight over here to try to get this one but it didn't work so your mileage may vary now also now that you're to this point in the video uh and you're a true fan make sure you're part of the discord discord.gg slash demon gaming i'll have a link down below because i'm actually gonna give away a key to this beta in 48 hours from the time i release this video so i think we're gonna shoot for the 23rd at like noon let's the 23rd noon at central standard time i'm gonna get that going uh, make sure you're part of the Discord. Make sure you react in the reaction roles. It's going to be giveaways. It's going to be in there. So make sure you're part of it, and you'll get a code to access the beta if you don't have access to it already. So, um, other things. We actually have another giveaway going on for a stream deck, an Elgato stream deck. We're actually partnered with the, uh, Elgato. So huge shout-out to Elgato for sponsoring the uh, the giveaway. We have a stream deck going on. I'll have a link down below as well. That's going to be a Twitter link because YouTube is, like, really weird with that. Anyways, okay. Moving on. What's next? Let's talk about the questing. Let's talk about the gameplay, the questing, the, 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 you know, the standard, the usual stuff, because I get a lot of people are like, oh, well, how's the gameplay? What's the gameplay like? So, um, let me go ahead. Let me accept a quest and I'll kind of give you an idea. So basically you're going to be running, you know, similar type of quests of other MMOs, uh, either fetch quests, which is, you know, go grab something, go talk to person X and then come back to me. Um, go kill so many of things, go collect so many of things, things like that. 
and then whilst you're doing that you're gonna be getting xp you're gonna be getting levels and how that works essentially is you can see i am i'm level 11 right now and this is my progress bar it's at the bottom of my screen if you can see right all the way down at the bottom it says i'm 11 it's kind of cut off a little bit um i am level 11 right now so that is my overall experience now there are a couple of things there's a couple of different attributes little points things like that so we have attribute points which are essentially your um attributes of your character now if you notice which eth which which with each attribute you have strength which is going to level up your swords and shield great axes war hammers hatchets spears so each one of these categories actually has a specific set of weapons that it's going to level up with so for me i am specking as a fire mage essentially i mean there's not like a mage like picking thing you don't pick like a mage or you know a, a, a blood knight or you know a warrior or anything like that you spec it how you want so i've been using a fire staff so i want to put my most points in fire staff but i also use the ice gauntlet um i can use a rapier sword or i can use a musket and these all level up with the intelligence now i do have a little bit in the focus because if i need to use a life staff it's a different type of staff um, and then constitution is your health scales so all these scale with however you want to do it so you can play the game however you want honestly and then from there because i get a lot of people questioning they're like well how's the classes work how's that stuff work so you can kind of do it how you want and you can respec so you could play you know as an intelligent class you can be like hey you know what never mind i want to go with swords i want to go with uh the life stuff i want to be a healer you know you kind of want to do that and then you also get weapon mastery so I have attribute points here. I'm actually going to throw both these into intelligence because I'm trying to get my fire staff as upgraded as possible. Uh, but then you get your weapon mastery. So as you use your weapon of choice, whatever weapon you use, you're going to get levels for it. So obviously you start off with a sword and shield. That's what you use. Um, and then my second thing that I got was a life staff. So then that's what I started using. Uh, and then I have the fire staff. So as you can see, I'm level six on the fire staff. And this gives you a separate tree. So just by using this item or this this type of weapon i level this up now if i wanted to switch to ice gauntlet basically i just start using the ice gauntlet and start leveling it up it's not too bad it's it's pretty easy so it's really cool you could actually i mean in theory you can go through and you can max all of these out absolutely you can max out every single one of them if you wanted to and then there's also of course the trade skills so you're crafting you're refining things like that um you'll come up to things let me go give you an example you'll come up to things in the environment that you can't harvest like this giant tree requires a logging skill of 50 requires a logging skill of 50. um some of these other bigger trees so that's a young tree that one's okay that one's okay i could harvest those logging skill of 50. there's some other ones i believe that require like 30 and 40s but the same thing kind of goes with uh mining as well there's some like resource veins that you can't mine until you're a certain level um, there's some harvestable items that you can't harvest into your, uh, a certain level. And that is actually where your, uh, your trade skills are going to come in because you have smelting, woodworking, leatherworking, logging, mining, fishing. That's what these are right here. Gathering. And then your refining is, uh, let's head back to the town and we'll kind of look, take a peek at that. So you can kind of get an idea, but basically as you do it more, you get more levels and you unlock more abilities to do more of that. You do it more, you get more, you know what I mean? So let's say I wanted to do some arcane stuff, right? I want to make life potions and things like that. So iron life staff, iron fire staff, that might be actually something I want. However, um, I'm going to need some fire arcana, but then I'm also going to need. So if I wanted to do some more stuff, I'm going to need a higher. Uh, I need I need more. I need a current levels. So my my arcana skill level is only level nine. So if I want to be able to make this other stuff, the more you do it, the better you get at it, the more you can make same thing goes with like you know tanning stuff like tanning hides rugged leather um layered leather infused leather leather with magic and stuff like that i can't do that because i'm not like look at that leather working skill 150. holy moly that's insane so those are kind of like the levels and how that works like as you use it and as you do it you can progress in the 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 profession you don't have to pick one you don't you're, you're not only limited to one or two professions like you are with some other mmos you can pretty much level up all of them if you, if you want like that's that's not even a it's not even a thing you can do it absolutely go for it um now let's also talk about gear and let's talk about what we got going on here because i know people are going to be you know asking questions about gear so i have some gear i've only been playing like i said i, I got probably five six hours into the game so this cloth hat of the monk right 
as you can see, it gives, well, here, can we click on this? Um, this ice gauntlet, let's just look at this ice gauntlet. Um, it has a gear score. So this is your item level, your eye level. The game that I'm thinking of specifically is like World of Warcraft, uh, where eye level is kind of what a lot of people go off of your gear level. But as you see, you have your, you know, your damage, your crit hit, your crit damage multiplier, block stamina, all this stuff. And then, you know, ice damage. However, you also get some other items like this, which add plus seven intelligence. Now that's going to get into the point that's going to play into your attributes because intelligence for me increases my fire staff and increases my eyes. Scotland increases my rapier, increases my musket. So I'm looking for intelligence things. I'm looking for uh, intelligence. Um, constitution is health. So like constitution is like a huge one. If you can get more constitution, that's fantastic. But intelligence for me is what I'm looking for. Maybe strength, maybe that. Um, but that's that's your gear so gear can do you know what have you uh you can carry a sh a shield in your offhand even if you have a fire staff so my my weapon run out loadout right now is a fire staff and a musket <laughs> because the intelligence for my character allows me to run a fire staff and a musket which i love i love that it's ranged it's a little bit of everything it's it's perfect for me for me it's what i like so that's kind of like, you know, how your loadouts work. You can be anything. You can create the character how you truly want to create it. Now, we also have factions. So I am part of Covenant. So Covenant, represent Covenant down below. Uh, <laughs> leave a comment. Well, let me know what faction you are. If you're a different faction, that's okay. It's all right. But factions essentially, um, as you've seen, and I don't know a whole lot about this. Uh, as you can see, we have a faction right here. This is not my faction, and this is not my faction. Our faction is like a yellow and red. So our faction is slacking, seriously, which I don't understand how, but it's happening. Um, but apparently a faction can, uh, you know, secure an area. Because like this area right here, it says specifically it is controlled by a syndicate. This one right here, it says it's controlled by the Marauders. Whereas I am... Covenant. So I want one that's controlled by Covenant. So I'd like to try to get this area controlled by Covenant, but I don't know how to do that yet. I don't know. I will, I'm super early in this game. But within your factions, you have reputation points. So as your reputation points increase, so does your standing with the, you know, with your faction, which makes sense. And then you also have rewards that are essentially that you can buy. So like I could buy this Covenant Initiate hat which actually isn't terrible, but it, it's dexterity and constitution. So dexterity, I'm not super used. Like, I don't really need that, but I had to have a level of 400 and I have to have 25 gold. Whereas like this staff or I'm not using a life staff. I'm using a fire staff. I have to have a thousand reputation, 125 gold. And then I could buy this staff and use it with how, with, with essentially whatever I wanted to. Um, what is this one? So like this one right here, four intelligent, six focus. That's pretty good. If you're a healer, maybe that's what you want to go with. So, um, you can upgrade that. You can level that up. It's super amazing. Super nice. Uh, but essentially the, the takeaway here, you can do anything and you can be like anyone you want to be. And it's super cool. And I really like it. Um, crafting is another thing. I don't know if, if you notice, like I went to the arcana thing. I went to a tanning hide. Here's a loom right here. If I want to make some fibers. Uh, we've got a woodworking bench over here. This is the workshop. This is going to make all my different types of woods. If I go over to here, this is going to make my stone. So if I get stone or for what, whatever stones I get, this is going to make that. And then I have a, a smelter over here that I have a forge over there. All kinds of things to level up. And it's a fantastic time. And I got to say, what I recommend it? Absolutely. I'll have a link down below to the Steam page. It's fantastic. I thoroughly am enjoying this game and I, I'm, I'm loving what it is. So um, with that, I'm going to leave you with a little bit of gameplay. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go grab some faction missions. We're going to grab a faction mission and we're going to run a mission. So that way you can kind of see maybe what the gameplay is. Maybe you're looking for gameplay and you want to see what the actual gameplay is and you don't want to just hear me talking and answering questions. So let's go here and let's grab this. And the reason I'm grabbing this is because if I open my journal, um, I need to hit a level 12 before i continue the main story so i'm gonna go and i'm gonna uh, oh shoot my flamethrower <laughs> oh let's talk about pvp real quick pvp you can enable pvp if you want to um right down here right down here is a pvp flag if i enable that people that are also pvp they can come and kill me now 
if you don't want to play pvp you don't have to if you're gonna about to enter a pvp area you'll know it so don't worry if you're a pve player i'm a pve player i don't like pvp uh you'll know before you enter that so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna grab these three missions right here because these are gonna give me uh reputation and um yeah reputation and some you know experience so now let's go to defeat withered at cooper's ranch okay so let's pull up the map here and let's see um is this cooper's ranch yeah we're gonna go here and we're gonna go kill some things because that's you know one of the quest types is kill stuff kill stuff gather stuff talk to people like those are pretty much the quests that we're getting right now and eventually as you know as things go along and as things get a little bit more you know, a little spicier then we'll get different types of quests we, you know bigger bosses things like that um i don't know if there's dungeons yet per se i don't know if there's raids yet per se i don't know but i would imagine there's going to be with the type of gameplay that this is so we're gonna just head over there and uh, i'll see you once we get over there all right so we're at cooper's ranch i have to take out i have to defeat six withered at cooper's ranch which this is a withered right here so i'm gonna go ahead uh that's not what i wanted to do at all but okay uh we're gonna shoot this guy we're gonna try to take it oh he retreated like a jerk and is this the withered i don't think this is a withered oh it was a withered okay cool so those count as withered nice so uh, as far as gameplay goes uh you have your standard buffs you have your standard things so like i have different types of food that you can eat so the food that i just ate it's gonna give me health over the next 20 seconds but then i also get this little uh buff heal for one percent of your max health every two and a half seconds for 25 minutes and that's because ah! hey, hey 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 be gone um that's because i ate a traveler's meal there's different types of foods that give you different types of buffs things like that so just check them out explore them have a fun have a fun time with it have a have a good time that's that's what this whole game is about is just enjoying yourself so i'm also going to ask you know what i'm going to go ahead and answer the question as well uh where do you get new items where do you get new gear because i get a lot of people asking about that um you don't have to craft it no you don't have to craft it you can just pick it up everything i've gotten i've just picked up so i usually pick them up from places like this where i go in we take out some enemies we have a wonderful time and then up here usually upstairs there is a bigger chest now these bigger chests typically have the uh, the weapons items gears things like that but the smaller ones have a chance to have it as well so officer's pants of the fighter officer's glove of the fighter so that doesn't really sound like my class we'll have to take a peek at it uh, and kind of see what's going on uh, but yeah they're easy gear you can get gear from those as well and then you got these little smaller caches like this um, I probably won't get any gear out of it, but we can check. So I got coarse sandpaper. I don't know what that's for, but hey, you know what? We'll find out eventually, right? Wow, this guy's moving really fast. All right, so I already hit my quest for this. I killed the uh, the eight different creatures that I needed to kill. And essentially, I just returned those, bring them back, get some more levels, get some more XP, things like that. So let's actually take a th look at the things that I just got. So these do have a higher rating um and honestly because my current pants that i'm wearing don't have any any of the um you know plus strength plus, plus dexterity they don't have any of that there's no reason to not equip it because i'm not losing anything and the same goes with these leather gloves oh the arm the elemental armor rating does go down a hair but I'm going to get strength and dexterity. So I might as well use those. And that's going to come to, you know, however you want to build your character too. Oh, also shoot. Oh my gosh. I should have started with the, I should have started the video with this. Do not try to fish right now. Do not. You will get kicked from the server and then you'll have to relog. These people that are fishing right now, they are, they are risky business right now i was streaming we had a fantastic stream came towards the end of my stream time normally i was gonna stream a little bit longer i tried fishing my game crashed i had about an hour wait time to log back in so don't try fishing right now just don't do it it's not worth it um just don't do it don't do it if you don't need to unless there's an update or the devs come out and say something like fishing is okay don't do it um that actually kind of brings me to my other point currently right now the server i'm playing on is i'm playing on the Eridus or er, er, Eridu? I can't remember exactly. 
Uh, however, when I started playing on it, it was a low populated server. Now it's a very high populated server. So it is, it, there is some queue times to get in. Uh, like I said, when I was streaming, I had to wait about an half hour, 45 minutes in order to log back in. However, to get on to record this video, it was immediate. So they are making more servers. They are trying to fix that stuff. So, um, hopefully it's, it's better for, for those of you who are playing, um, but yeah, that is a small thing as well. And this is a beta. So another thing answering questions. This is a whole question answer kind of thing. Your progress from this beta will not carry over into the full game. They have uh, made that very clear. They have stated that, hey, any progress made in this beta does not transfer to the full release of the game. A lot of people uh, might be upset about that, but that was said before you even started playing. So if you didn't want to do it, you shouldn't have started playing. But a lot of people want to start playing because it's a fun time. <laughs> so we're going to turn that in call that good and then uh, basically we're gonna keep running missions here until i hit the required level to continue my main story um but that is basically gonna end it i'm gonna end it right there i think i answered most of the questions i had um if you have any questions leave them in the comments down below i will try to answer them as i can now i want to i want to also state that i don't know everything about this game i'm not an expert i've only i'm only giving you my opinion my personal experienced opinion after playing for like five or six hours with a group of people things could be different things could be different um with you know how things work later on if you're watching this video at the time of release of the game maybe or like you know years down the line things are going to be different it's going to be different keep in mind when this video came out versus when you're watching it because things could be different and take everything i said with a grain of salt because it's personal opinions my experiences but uh yeah thank you so much for coming out um in short do i recommend new worlds if you enjoy MMOs, maybe you don't enjoy MMOs, maybe you've never played it or you've never played the right MMO, I would recommend checking out New World. Um, Miss Z, personally, she did not think that this was a game that she was going to like. However, after streaming it with her for a few hours, she is really enjoying it. So I feel as though maybe a lot of people will enjoy this game that haven't maybe liked MMOs before. So, um, yes. But I'll have a link down below. Hopefully you have a wonderful, fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one.